Hello, I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology. I'm here today to tell you about two new introductions to our VaporX family of graphics cards. VaporX is the name we give to our vapor chamber cooling technology. Sapphire Technology was the first company to introduce vapor chamber cooling technology. Um, we had it first on our Atomic and Toxic series of cards for the enthusiast, but it proved so popular that we introduced a whole series of cards called the VaporX series. This frying pan gives you a good idea of how the cycle works. You can see the liquid boiling up, hitting the cold glass top, recondensing and then going back down to the pan surface. The fan is designed to ensure that constant airflow on the other side of the plate enhances condensation. What Vaporex brings to us is the ability to deliver cards that run much cooler, quieter and therefore we can give a bit of extra performance compared with the standard models and the standard methods of cooling. The first card I'd like to talk about today is Sapphire's HD 5870 Vaporex model. The 5870 was introduced to huge acclaim because it was the first card to offer full support for DirectX 11 uh, as well as being lightning fast. It has 1600 stream processors and an architecture which delivers all the very latest features that you'd expect. Our VaporX model enables us to deliver a quieter and cooler card. In fact it's running about 10 decibels quieter and about 15 degrees cooler than the standard model under load conditions. Um, we've also upped the performance a little bit. We, do, we have 870 megahertz engine clocks, 1250 megahertz memory clocks, which basically means that we're giving anything up to about 10% better performance than the standard card, uh, obviously depending on the application. So Sapphire's HD 5870 VaporX has a stylish new cowling which covers the VaporX cooler and heat pipe assembly which are taking all the heat away from this quite powerful graphics chip. Like the other 5870s in the series, um, this card has four connectors on the end bracket. It has two DVI connectors, which can also be used with a VGA adapter, and it has an HDMI and a display port. For the new mode known as Ifinity, where you drive three screens at the same time from one graphics card, one of the screens has to be coupled to the display port, uh, which can be with an active adapter. The other two can be from either of the DVI or HDMI ports. The second card I want to talk about today is the Sapphire HD 5750 VaporX. Uh, the 5700 series is obviously aimed at the users who are a little bit more budget conscious, but again we've put our VaporX cooler on there, which means that it runs quiet and it runs cooler than the standard card. Now that's ideal if you're doing something like multimedia PCs or if you want to have a general purpose computer that doesn't give you a disturbing noise and you want high reliability. But the great thing about the 5700 series is it has all the features of the 5800 series DirectX 11 support. You can drive three monitors from it. So for example with our 5750 VaporX card you could use your PC with three monitors so you could simultaneously be working on one screen, monitoring your internet on another screen or even watching videos on a third screen and without too much load on the PC. So this means that you know, even for a budget car this is giving stunning performance and versatility. Both of these cars in the full retail versions will include in the bundle a voucher for the new Dirt 2 game, which is one of the first games to fully utilise all the DirectX 11 features and will look really stunning on these cards. So with the two new introductions Sapphire brings to the VaporX series, two exciting cards for the user. I'm Bill Donnelly from Sapphire Technology, thank you for watching.